is Dave Wolber from dragondropcode.com. All right, I'm showing this app, which takes data from a spreadsheet, displays it. But what I'm showing today is kind of how to filter. And what I've got is a pretty simple interface here where um, you know the user can choose either Spanish or all. I'm going to choose Spanish. And when I when the user chooses Spanish, you know, the app just shows those filter data that's only the Spanish language Oscar nominees. You know, these are foreign films from the last so many years. Okay, so you, there's all kinds of apps and databases where you want to grab certain parts of the data, certain data at certain time. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the main thunkable screen and we're going to start from scratch. Um, and, you know, from scratch, I'm just going to create a new project. We're going to use the drag and drop interface. And what we're going to do is actually connect to the main spreadsheet. We're going to create another spreadsheet. Um, and I'll just call this thing Oscar filter. We're going to create a second spreadsheet, which is kind of um, you know, where we're going to put the filtered data that we show. So we're always going to grab some of the rows from the big spreadsheet and stick them in the second sheet. And then we'll display that sheet in, in the app. Um, okay, so Dunkle is going to create this blank app for me. And first thing I'm going to do is create a data source. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down. I got a bunch of them, and including I've got this one called, you know, feature feature film, foreign films. So I'm going to choose foreign films. And if you, you know, if I click on it, I can see, oh yeah, it's it's all this stuff that I was showing you here before. So now that data is kind of in my app. And Thunkable can get to it. And Thunkable makes a bunch of blocks to make it easy to, to actually get the data from, from that spreadsheet. Okay, and the first thing I can do, and we'll just kind of show all the data to start. And the way you show data from a spreadsheet is with a data viewer list. So I'm just going to drag this data viewer list on, kind of make it bigger. And then what I have to do is just choose which data source, which right now I just have one. Um, and then what I want to do is show as much information as I can. So I'm going to choose this one. You can, you can basically choose which columns you want to show up and I'm going to show, um, the title and as the subtitle, I'm going to show the language and then finally I'm going to show the year. And it's kind of nice as you're doing this, Funkable actually goes and grabs the data for you, or you can run it and you can see that it's basically just showing all the data from, from the spreadsheet. Okay, it's not beautiful. You know, I don't have any headers yet, but that's what we got so far. Um, so that's a quick and easy way if you just want to show data. Now, what we want to show is filter data. Okay, and I'm going to start off. Let's do something simple. Let's just say we just want to show the Spanish stuff right from the get-go. Okay, and, I, and we're going to do that with blocks. Um, but the way we're going to do it is we're actually going to create another spreadsheet. And I'm just going to go and... And in Google Docs, I'm going to go to drive.google.com, say new spreadsheet. And I'm just going to create this sheet. And, and I could choose all the, um, and let's just call it the filtered uh, films. Okay. And I could, you know, label this with all the different columns, but I'm just going to put title, language, and year. Okay. That's a subset of all the columns that's in the other spreadsheet. And this is where we're going to put our filter data. In this case, only the Spanish ones. You know, I could do that manually, right? But we want our app to do it. Um, okay, so that filtered films is working. I need to add a new data source. Um, so I'm going to create, sorry, I don't want a new screen. I want a new data source. So I click on the plus. I scroll down, I don't have this new spreadsheet I created in my system yet. So I'm just gonna create a new Google Sheet and I'm gonna select a sheet. And the one I just created, Filtered Films, uh, is the one I want. And notice my column headers are in row one. Okay, first row data, row two. So create. So now I've got this Filtered Films, there's nothing in it, okay. And I've got my full on database here. Okay, and then now I need to write code to basically, you know, stick stuff into the filtered films. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go to the blocks. And what I've got to do, and I'm going to do shift command R uh, to get Thunkable to wake up. And what I'm going to do is basically grab 
all the data from the first spreadsheet, put it in the variables, and then I'm going to move it into the second spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the screen.opens event handler. So right when the screen opens, this is when I want to do my magic. And my goal is just grab all the Spanish stuff. Um, and I'm going to need three variables. And the way you do that in Funkable is just do this initialize app variables from the variables folder. I'm going to call this the film list. And it's really going to be a list of my titles. And I'll just start it out as an empty list just to kind of show that it's a list. I'm going to do command C, command V, and kind of copy paste. And I'm going to create, call this variable my language list. So it's going to hold all the languages from the spreadsheet. You know, so essentially it's going to go down this whole column and grab all the languages. The first one grabbed all the titles. And then finally, I'm going to grab all the years. And I'm going to have these three variables. Okay. Um, we could create a single list with different, uh, with objects with different parts. But right now we're just gonna have three separate kind of synchronized lists. And we're gonna take all the stuff from the big spreadsheet, stick it in these variables, and then we're gonna go through those variables and stick them in the second spreadsheet. Okay, first thing we gotta do is actually grab the data from the uh, spreadsheet. So in screen opens, I'm gonna set my film list to um, these nice blocks that's been generated by Thunkable. So, you know, so when I created my, or when I added the data sources, Thunkable created these nice blocks and I can go grab from foreign films, not from filtered films, right? From foreign films, I'm grabbing all the titles and putting it in the film list. And essentially I want to do that three times. And this time it's going to be the language list and I'm going to grab language. Make sure you be very careful as you kind of, choose these guys and then finally the year list and I'm going to choose year. So all I've done so right so far is I'm grabbing three columns, sticking them in variables, and now I can kind of go through those variables and do stuff. In this case, I'm going to check the the film list, check or sorry, check the language list, see if it's Spanish. And if it is, I'm going to stick something in my second spreadsheet. Okay, next step. I need to loop through um, all of the whole list. Okay. And I don't want to go one through 10. I want to kind of repeat something, however many items are in my spreadsheet or however many th items are in this film list. Right. And so what I'm going to do is grab the length of block and the list I care about. I could really choose any of these lists because they're all the same length. Um, but I'm going to grab film list. Okay, so I'm going to repeat something that many times. And basically what I'm going to repeat is checking to see if it's, it's Spanish, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do, and, you know, first I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is throw everything in the other spreadsheet, all right? The way I do that is I go to data sources, I call create row, and instead of foreign films, I'm going to call filtered films. And what I want to do is I need to grab the title, language, and year from my lists. And the way I do that is I'm going to call the get function. And we don't want this um, default list that they put in there, but we want to grab the um, film list. So I'm going to go to variables, grab film list. And essentially we want to create a row in this second spreadsheet, grab the title from the film list, which we built from the first spreadsheet and stick it in there. And I can kind of copy paste this a couple times and grab the language list and grab the um, year list. Okay, right now it's showing, let's grab the first item every time. We don't want to grab the first item, we want to grab the ith item. And realize i is a variable and with this count with block, i is going to start out as one, then it's going to be two, and then it's going to be three, and essentially, every time we want to grab the ith item from the list um, as we're walking through the, the list. So I'm going to replace um, these ones with i's. And let me just do that. I could have done that before I copied all those blocks. But essentially, grab each film, grab each language, grab each year. And that's what we're going to stick in the other, the other spreadsheet. OK? Um, 
I can run this right now. And notice I'm not filtering yet, right? I'm just basically copying everything from one spreadsheet and putting it into the second spreadsheet. And, you know, we can kind of test this out. Here's my filtered films. It's got nothing in it. Um, now, if I run this app and it's, I think it's working. I think it's showing everything. And if you'll notice in uh, fil filtered films, this, this Google doc, um, it's now showing all the ones that are got that the app put in there. Okay, so the app is successfully kind of copying from the original spreadsheet to the to the new one. Okay, so let's go back to our blocks. We still haven't really filtered. One thing we need to do is every time we do a filter, we need to first kind of take everything out of the filtered film. So I, the first thing I'm going to do is in data sources, there's this delete all rows, and I'm going to delete all the rows from my filtered films, okay? Once that gets done, so you wanna stick the count width within this do block. So once I've deleted all the rows, then I can go through and kind of recreate them, okay? Now, however, I don't want to stick every row in there as I'm doing now, and that's where I'm gonna use an if statement. So I'm gonna grab an if block, okay? And only under certain conditions Am I going to create a row in the second spreadsheet, in the filtered films spreadsheet? And, you know, we're doing something real, we'll do it real simple right now. Let's just grab a um, equals block. And let's just say, look, if this first film or if the ith film, or sorry, the ith language is Spanish, then let's go ahead and and uh, put it in. So I'm gonna say, go grab the ith one. And if that is equal to Spanish, then we're good. And you, we can make it a little bit variable. Let me create one more variable and I'll call this variable language. So not language list, but language. And um, we'll start it off with nothing, but we can kind of just make this code look a little better by saying, okay, before we do anything, let's kind of create the language, which is grab the ith item, okay? And then we can say, okay, let's just compare the language with Spanish. It just makes things a little bit cleaner. So let's stick the ith language of our language list into the variable language, and then we can compare that to Spanish. Either way works, but I think that's a little cleaner. Okay, cool. So this is kind of how you filter, right? Get rid of all the rows in your kind of secondary sheet, your second sheet loop through these variables that really have all the data from the first sheet um, and check whatever you want to check and only under certain conditions, you know, add these rows to the second, the second sheet. Okay, if I run this, let's try, let's try it out. And if I preview it, um, you'll notice it's showing all, all the apps still. Oh, okay. Let's go back to editing. Let's see if we've got this working correctly. If we go back to our designer, um, are we showing the filtered films? Oh no, so our, uh, sorry, I forgot to make a big change. So really we want our data viewer not to show all the films, but only to show filtered films, okay? So my little test I did earlier was really not really testing our code. Um, it was actually showing the original sheet. Um, so we're gonna choose filtered, filtered films, okay, that's what we want this to show. And then of course we need to choose all the columns like the title and the language and the year. Okay, so we've got two spreadsheets, right? We've got the original with all the data, we've got our the one that's gonna have filtered data. And in our viewer, you know, with the thing the user sees, we want them to see um, the filtered films. Okay, and in fact, our blocks are doing a bunch of work to kind of set up that filtered film spreadsheet as, as the right one. Okay, now let's, let's test this out. So in my web preview, let's run it. And you'll notice it's only showing the Spanish stuff. Okay, so anyway, simple way to filter data. Um, bring, bring the data from the main spreadsheet into some variables you know, kind of clean out 
the second spreadsheet that you're going to put the filter data into and then walk through your variables, basically the rows of the original sheet, check them. And if they meet a certain criteria, stick a new row into, you know, that second spreadsheet. And that's how, that's how filtering works.